Hi. So I just had an interview for a possible Rolling Stone article and it really brought home that I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm not cool at all. With me here in this park in the middle of Sydney, Australia, is Natalie Tran, who is behind Community Channel, the number one by far most popular YouTube channel in Australia. Let's sit down and have an interview. Sure. You posted your first video in September 2006. It's kind of like, you know, the guy that started milking cows. What the hell was he doing? What made you start uploading videos to YouTube? The phenomenon of Lonely Girl was happening then and it hit Australian newspapers and I was curious about this website, YouTube, so I went and checked it out. Why do you think your style is, has struck such a chord? Um, yeah, I think it's mainly just because they're just everyday subjects. So you know what's cringeworthy? When you're chatting online to a friend and then they announce they have to go. So you say goodbye and then they don't go. I, I'm genuinely on there to have a good time. Like I like talking to people and I like the responses. A lot of people leave some pretty crazy comments and video responses, so it's always fun. Have you ever published a video that's just been completely misconstrued? Yeah, I did this one video a while back about fake abs and it was a response to a girl who had drawn on abs with uh, with makeup and I thought that concept was a little bit absurd. So I, I grabbed a, a texture and I drew it on with a marker, you know, and, and just as a, a sarcastic kind of a thing and a couple of people were like, you know, I followed this tutorial and it's just not natural, it's just not giving me the look, I'm going to rate this one star. So I was like, fair enough, so threw the word sarcasm in the title. Do you take your international viewers into consideration when you make each video? Yeah, I try to just because other Otherwise, I think a lot of the lingo goes, you know, they're like you talk crazy with your mozzie talk and your telly talk. And like, I'm in the States at the moment and nobody can understand what I'm saying half the time. Now, my name's Marie. Was there anything else I could help you with? A water? S some more? A water. I'm sorry, honey. I can't understand what you're saying. Do you think if you'd started what you're doing today, you would have been able to rise so high? No, not at all. I think I started at a time when there weren't as many video blo uh, video bloggers. I think the kids now are these kind of really crazy, really good, they've picked it all out and they've got the formula down, so I don't think I'd have much of a chance. I mean, the fact that you, you don't seem to be using this as a springboard for, you know, I want to be famous on TV or something like that, you're still kind of going on with your, your life as it was before YouTube. I got a little bit ahead of myself. I thought, you know what, I don't need YouTube. I'm gonna try and be famous. And I went to a whole bunch of auditions, but nothing really worked out. Wait, 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 wait. cut. I really don't like your dancing and you're fat. It's, it's fun at the moment, it's a hobby, but it's not my life or anything like that, so. It's surely got to kind of make you look at yourself in a different way. I tend to edit quite early in the morning or late at night and I don't always watch them before I upload because if I look at myself too much, I get in incredibly turned on. You know what it's like in Australia, you just kind of can't think of anything of yourself. So, And you've got mates who are doing really legitimately great things and they're like, so what are you doing? Like, I film videos in my bedroom. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't quite level out. Natalie, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm Ella Morton and you've been watching Rocket Boom.